Hi there. Today I'm going to give you a few tips for getting the best performance out of the elevator. Hi there. Today I'm going to give you a few tips for getting the best performance out of the control arm assembly on the Fusion 50. The control arm assembly itself is put together on page 9 of the Fusion 50 manual and then it's installed in the side frames on page 10. Um, here we have the side frames as they appear on page 11 of the manual. Currently I have the control arm assembly installed between the frames. I have Loctite on all the bolts. The bolt securing the left hand aileron bell crank isn't yet tightened. The two M3 by 5 mm socket head cap screws which hold the elevator A-arm assembly onto the control rod are positioned over the flats on the control rod but aren't yet tightened. You'll see that it's possible to move the control rod left and right where those flats are. I find the easiest way of getting this assembly working smoothly is to temporarily tighten one of these socket head cap screws and then tighten the cap screw securing the left hand aileron bell crank. Now that this cap screw is tightened, loosen one of these cap screws again and now you'll see that the control rod has got less play and let's push it all the way to the right. That means this left hand bell crank doesn't have any free play but still moves smoothly. Having done that and ensuring these cap screws are still over the flats, tighten the cap screws to, con to secure the elevator A-arm assembly. With these cap screws tightened the control rod is no longer free to move. Next install the right hand aileron bell crank. Next 